Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And today we're gonna take a look at a concept phone from a company called Infinix. And this phone has features that you will hopefully be seeing in a phone in the near future. This phone is not for sale, however, Infinix has said that they are probably going to be including these features in an upcoming device. Now, what type of features am I talking about when it comes to a concept phone? And it all, the main one in my opinion, revolves around this charging brick. And in big letters and numbers, 160 watts of charging power on this. Yes, this is a fairly large brick to charge a phone. However, I do think this is the fastest charging phone compared to any phone out on the market right now. So at 160 watts, you can charge this phone, this is the concept phone, from zero to 100 in around 10 minutes, which is insane if you think about it. If you only need 10 minutes to get a full battery charge, you don't even need to leave it on the charger overnight pretty much. So we'll take a quick look at the hardware of this concept phone. There's even a really cool color changing back to it when you do charge the phone. So we'll take a look at the color changing that goes on. And then of course, do the charging test. Let's get started. All right, excited to check this out. It's been a while since I've tested out a concept phone and there is a look at that brick. You'll see 160 watts of charging or as my buddy Gary says, MO91. <laughs> it is Infinix Ultra Flash Charge. Got some green accents to it and of course, it is USB type C. Now, before we do the zero to a hundred test, you'll notice I'm running real low on battery. I want to take a quick look at the hardware, specifically the back and take a look at that cool color changing technology when I plug the phone in to charge. So we've got a fairly flat bottom, uh, different style buttons on the right side, bit of an indent and rounded shape to them. Moving along up towards the top, inscribed is Infinix Concept Phone 2021. And then along the left side, absolutely nothing. And a quick look at the back. There is that camera module. I'm not going to dive into the specs of it. It does look like there is a periscope camera. I don't know if all of these lenses are even active or not. So we're really not going to dive into that because we're more talking about the concept technology that is built in. And again, they might include some of these features in an upcoming device. One more thing to make note of is the sides have a decent amount of curve to them. You'll see how that content spills off the side of the device. I know some people like it, some people don't. It's definitely personal preference, but in a concept phone, aesthetically, I think curved sides and phones look much better. Anyways, running really low on battery, let's check out that color changing technology on the back of the phone. So for that color changing technology, it's actually a setting that you can turn on and off on the back of the phone. So let's show it off right now. I'm just going to plug the phone in. And when I do, take a look at the back of the device. All right, so we've got our 160 watt charger all plugged in, ready to go. The battery is just about to die. So I'm actually gonna do the test from zero to 100 first before we check out the color changing technology. And for the test sake, I'm going to turn that off for now. And I'm gonna let this die, maybe play a quick game of PUBG if I can get one in, die the phone completely, and then we'll be back. All right, our concept phone is completely dead. It's time to test it out from zero to 100. And I will have a stopwatch going right when I plug the phone in. This is actually the Infinix Note 10 Pro. If you're interested in checking that out, you can actually buy this phone. I did make a video on it. I will link to that video in the description. But let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm gonna try and do this at just about the same time. So plug it in and hit the start button. So there we go uh, with the stopwatch going. I'll uh, go ahead and update in maybe a couple minutes. All right, so as we approach two minutes, if you think about it, you should get about an average of 10% uh, every minute if you're going from zero to 100. However, that's not going to always be the case. It won't charge just exactly at 10%. So we'll see if it is anywhere around 20%, if not maybe a little bit more. I haven't even checked it yet. So here we go, right at two minutes, I'm gonna press the power button and we're gonna see what the percentage is at and 19%, so there we go, it is right on track. 
So imagine in two minutes going from zero to 19%. Insane. Let's keep going. All right, you know the drill. Just about at five minutes. Let's see if we're nearing that 50% mark. Look at that, 48% charged in just five minutes. So crazy. I'll do one more update before we get to 100. All right, last update. See if we're on track at the eight minute mark. We are at 73%, so still got a little bit of work to do. I would say the phone is warm, but it's by no means hot. And the brick is also warm, but again, by no means hot. It doesn't hurt or anything like that. It's just warm as expected, just like other phones when they are charging. So I'll be back around the 10-minute mark and see where we're at. All right, getting very close to 10 minutes. Let's see where we're at. 87%. All right, about to hit the 11-minute mark. Let's check it out. 93%. So it is cruising. I also could have sworn I turned off the color-changing technology, but apparently not. So I guess we can kind of take a look at that while it's happening. And this will actually slow down the charging speed, so that's why it has surpassed 11 minutes. I will test it again separately with it off and confirm, but let's take a quick look at it, just see how it is kind of pulsing here with the charging, and it does just change the back color. So it's not like there's a light lighting up, essentially. It looks like it is just kind of built into the back. And as we approach about 12 minutes, 97%. Again, I'll do a quick test after this. I'm going to redrain the battery just so you guys get a good idea of how quickly it will actually charge when this is off. I have other variables. I'm using an adapter. I have an extension cable, so I'm going to go directly into the wall, and I'll do a full charge and just let you know what the time was. So 12 minutes, 99%. So regardless, even with 12 minutes, that's an insane 0 to 100% in just over 12 minutes there we go so just over 12 minutes with that technology turned on but you need to test it with it off and it will get even quicker so there we have it 100 percent charged that is just insane to me it blows my mind that this technology can come to phones hopefully we see this in the very near future so that color changing technology was actually off so i'm not sure why it was on while it was charging however like I said, I'll still do another test plug directly into the wall, let you know my results. All right, so running the test a second time, there is our number that was directly plugged into the wall. So as you can tell, not quite 10 minutes, but you know what, I don't care. There's a lot of variables going into it. This is a concept phone under 11 minutes to go from zero to 100% in a phone is just crazy to me. So that is the 160 watt charging on this Infinix concept phone. We can take one more look at that color changing technology on the back with it flashing. But that's everything I wanted to show off for now with this concept phone. Big thanks to Infinix for sending this over for us to check out. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. A lot more content coming soon. And as always, thanks for watching.